So, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the moments all of us are waiting for. And this is the day I'm waiting for. Because the two gymnasiums coming to contest for this very interesting second fight are week number seven, Charles Cotter Boxing Gymnasium and the Fifth Square Boxing Gymnasium. These are the two prominent boxing gymnasium who have made the boxing league very, very thick. Today is the day. And this is going to be a super bantamweight contest over six rounds. Very, very interesting fight. Now, introducing the boxer fighting that from the blue corner. This is a boxer who was born and bred right here in Dansoma with the weight of 123.10 pounds. And this is the man with the official record of four fights, two victories, one draw, and just one defeat. And this is the man from the Fifth Square Boxing Gymnasium. And tonight, he has been supported by Coach Daniel Overy. Presenting to you the boxer Alexandro Quachi crossing over to the red corner, and this is another promising star. And this is another boxer from the Chascote Boxing Gymnasium. And this is a man with the weights of 121.60 pounds. And this is a boxer who was born and bred in Bolga Tanga in the Upper East region of Ghana with the official record of seven fights, seven wins, six knockouts. And this man, he has never tasted defeat. Presenting to you the boxer from the Charles Scott Boxing Gymnasium, Mohamed Fuseni. And the man in charge of this fight is Nikwe Kote. So with the official introduction, so okay, it's now the turn of Nikwe Kote as center referee to, to take the boxes right, through yourself at all the last set of my instructions and up, look at the rapturous applause received by Mohammed Fuseini, definitely telling you that we are in for a big one. And he's fighting against a tough customer in Alexander Kwache, who's also been around for a while. Let's see how this bout goes. Like I told you, lots of dignitaries we have here tonight. And we'll be letting you in on who's here and what kind of support they're giving to Ghana Boxing in its totality. Let's get ready for round the bell. one. And here we go for round one. It's boxing made in Ghana. It's boxing made in Accra. And as I told you, Sam Nana Gold was in Techiman, far away Techiman. We understand lots of things happen there. We are opening up boxing to the rest of the country. It's Alexander Kwache in white, trying to move in, trying to get close on Fuseini. One, and Kwache goes now. Three, four. Kwache needs to take his time and get him into that kind of grudge fight with Mohamed Fuseini. Mohamed Fuseini is a calm, collected fighter. And if Alexander wants to rush on him, then he's going to get clipped and hurt. And that's what we just saw in round one. At this point in time, I'm sure Alexander Kwache has felt the power from Mohamed Fuseini. And he has to keep his guard up. It's going to be an interesting one between these two fighters. Mohamed Fuseini fighting from Charles Corte Boxing Foundation Jema. And Alexander Kwache fighting from the first square gym. That's a big one from Fuseini. And Alexander Kwache back pedals for a moment. Fuseini showing how improved he's been since he stepped into the ring the first time gradually building and carving a niche for himself Kwachi on the defense both boxers being very cautious
So at this point, it is uh, Mohamed Fuseni who is really, really on the attacking mode. Alexander Kwache, I'm sure he's feeling some uneasiness, having filled the power, and there he could get struck again from a punch from Mohamed Fuseni, and that's where he goes for the clinch. Alexander Kwache is in some trouble. There goes he get clipped again but this time around he keeps his focus alexander kwache needs to find a way to also hurt mohammed fuseni and it is getting very difficult for alexander kwache he throws but he misses and mohammed fuseni just smiles he's talking his opponent mohammed fuseni trying to cut the ring into his sizes and there he goes again he goes, goes to the body and alexander kwache is getting some troubles there Trying to find his bearing and there goes the bell. Seconds out. Well round, round two. More action, more rounds to come. This is just round two of about scheduled for six rounds. Charles Quarte Boxing Foundation ably represented by Mohammed Fuseini. And he is in the black and white trance. Taking on Fit Squares Alexander Kwache. We've seen Kwache uh, in trouble earlier on. Seems to have recovered. And it's uh, Mohamed Fusseini who's been very careful. Gets in at what, uh, a couple of uh, jabs. Fusseini using his reach to advantage as well. Tries to open up. Follows up with the jabs. Throw wild in certain angles, which is not looking good for him. And when he throws wild like that, he gets himself open for counter. And that is what Mohammed Fuseni is really, really forcing him and stalking him to do. Alexander Kwachin needs to be very, very careful because throwing wilds like that and you miss, he's gonna get countered, and that's what I'm talking about. Mohammed Fuseni ducks the body again and goes goes the uppercut. Alexander Kwache in a serious trouble there, but he also keeps one on his own. And then punch rocks Alexander Kwache. Kwache is in deep trouble there. Mohamed Fuseni sends his blood. He's pushing him and stalking him. Alexander Kwache needs to be careful with his defensive duties. He throws one again and Mohamed Fuseni counters him, but he misses. And there goes the body punches from Mohamed Fuseini. Work him to the body, he goes upstairs. Alexander Kwache keeps his guard. He lands one on his own. But he gets out of danger zone. But you can see the grimming on the face of Alexander Kwache shows you that he's in serious trouble. He backs up, then that punch lands clean on the face of Alexander Kwache. Fuseini still stalking his opponent. He goes to the body. He goes up a cut again, lands it clean. Alexander Kwache is in trouble. He wants to fight back. But Mohamed Fuseni is not giving him chance to do that. And uppercut grace is clean on the face of Alexander Kwache. Kwache is still keeping his guard, but he cannot throw any punch. Only on the receiving end. Fuseni is stalking him. Kwache backs up. At this point, Fuseni is cutting the ring into his sizes. Making sure and he goes to the body, but this time Alexander Kwachi swears him and a punch lands clean from Fuseini. Kwachi backs the ropes. What is it gonna be? Fuseini goes to the body again and Kwachi goes down. It's too much for Kwachi. He goes down in round two. Let's see if he's gonna make the count. Kwachi makes the count. Let's see if he can go on. The referee says fight on and there goes the bell. The bell really saves Kwache. Seconds out. Round Kwache three. has given up. Kwache has given up. And the hero of the moment is Mohamed Fuseini. Yeah, Prince, as you can see, first two rounds, things were not looking good for 
Allah. We'll talk about that in a minute. Muhammad, Alam, is, Muhammad Amin Lamte will give us it was, it was the verdict. It was an fight and one boxer dictated the pace and as we have the verdict here in round number three, the verdict is here. But wherever you are, we want to thank you very much for being part of this wonderful Ghana Professional Boxing League by the Ken Kelly of IMAX Boxing Promotions and Ghana Boxing Authority. And I can also tell you that this event is supported by Premium Motors Manufacturers of Renault, the best car in Ghana and beyond, Down the Milk, Techno, Max Buy, and Niche Coco. We thank them so much for the support. Now the verdict. In round number three, by a technical knockout, presenting to you the boxer who was born and bred in Bogatanga in the Upper East region of Ghana, is currently at the Chascote Boxing Gymnasium, the gymnasium that won the first season of Ghana boxing, professional boxing under the tutorial of coach, the big man himself presenting to you, the boxer, Mohamed Fuseni. Now, Mohamed, Congratulations. Thank you. How do you feel fighting tonight? My opponent there is not hard. The, your opponent is wild. It's not wild. It, it's not wild. Yeah. But are you happy you've won the fight? Yes. Oh, okay. So what message do you have for your fans? I don't have enough to say. Okay. But thank you for everything. Okay. So happy to see you. Okay. Thank you, all. Thank you very much. Now, I know your brothers and sisters and parents are watching you far away from Bogotanga. Now, speak your language. Talk to them. What message do you have for them? Nero is an order. My poor Bogotanga Nerva. My man and my sojourn. Baby, my TV is you. My poor ever song. Never put over my. Then I use you. Zanure. Thank you very much. So let me talk to his deputy trainer, who is always regular on Max TV, and the wonderful Ennis. Welcome to the show. Thanks, thanks, Mr. Amin. And now it looks like uh, Mohammed Fuseni has some artistry. What is the secret behind his artistry? It, it's pure hard work, and the fact that he knows where he's coming from, and he has the great determination of going far with boxing, and so he doesn't joke with his training. We are looking at uh, fighting for the national belt any moment from now. So that's what we are working on. And it's I don't know whether I see, I see a manager. Yes, he has a manager. He has a manager uh, who is a friend. He's called Sholele. I know Sholele is in the house. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to tell him a very big thank you for the support because we don't normally get people to come to support boxers. And so for the fact that he's helping us, we are grateful. May God continue to bless him. Okay. As, as a trainer, what message do you have for this wonderful people who are here to witness this wonderful night. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful for all of you because if not for you, what we are doing here makes no sense. Without these people around, boxing is nothing. And so we are always grateful, we are always appreciative of the fact that you keep coming here to support us. May God continue to bless you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That is the deputy trainer of Just Cote Boxing Gymnasium, Ennis, for this wonderful message. So we.